Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Now, we are pretty much done in here. This guy's not going to be much help for a while. He's just going to tell us the town hall and he doesn't want us to stick around. There's one more thing. Where is it? There it is. I knew there was something on that window. And it's a hidden puzzle. Once again, it's a puzzle in the three-digit range, number 118, for red and black cards worth 50 points. Okay. A jokerless deck of 52 cards sits on the table. The cards are shuffled thoroughly and divided into two stacks of 26 cards labeled A and B. If you divide the cards as described like so, and check the contents of each pile 1,000 times, how many times could you expect the number of red cards in one pile to match the number of black cards in the other? Seems like a fairly difficult puzzle, except for one thing. There are 26 black cards and 26 red cards in this pile. So let's say there are... 10 red cards in one pile, which means that there are 16 black cards left over in that pile. Well, the other pile would be the exact opposite. It would have 10 black and 16 red. And you'll find that's true every time you do it, so that the number of the red cards in one pile will always match the number of black cards in the other. So out of a thousand times? You get one thousand for one thousand. Well, here's my guess. Professor, I've solved it. And we're up to 480 picarats. Always works. Oh, I even brought <laughs> Ooh, I even brought up the same number, 10. Huh. No, it was not a real mind twister. So anyway, we are done here. The only place we can go from this room is right freaking there. Now, remember, somebody said we needed to check out, uh... Check out the one place. Is that the same? No, that's where I was. I think it's this one. Yeah. Have you noticed that this door is a different color than all the others in the area? And look at these vines. Have you seen vines growing on any other house in St. Mystier? The nameplate on the door says House of Puzzles. Yeah, we'll be going there. Indeed. I'm not quite sure what else lies behind the door, but it's clear there are puzzles hiding inside. Sadly, the door is shut tight, and there's no sense in waiting around for it to open. Let's return later. Well, we've pretty much done everything here. We've talked to them. They didn't have anything useful. Found all the hint coins in this screen already. So now let's go... Or wait, have I talked to Station? No, wait, I, th I think I need to talk to him again, don't I? Not you, you. I think you have something for us now. No? No? Still no? Okay. I'm pretty sure... St where is Station, anyway? Where'd he go? He was here not too long ago. Oh well. Guess we need to head west now. Oh, I almost forgot. We ought to visit the local inn and see if we can't procure some rooms for the night. Really? We're hot on the tail of a cat and you want to bring... Okay. Sounds good to me, Professor. 
I was certain I saw an inn near the entrance to the village, just south of the plaza we're in. Let's head over right now and see if we can't set up some lodging. Really? We're gonna interrupt looking for the cat to go to the inn now? Really? Oh, there's Station! He's near the entrance. I thought he was... never mind. Let's talk to him. So, how go things? Learning the ins and outs of St. Mystere, are you? Yep, solving puzzles is the only way to get by here. That's what the villagers value most. So, how about a puzzle right now? A little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourselves in front of others later. As a die-hard nonconformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle where you gotta find the odd man out. I didn't mean to click on that, but we've found Puzzle 17, the five-card shuffle, worth 30 picarats. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? Okay, let's see. Let's start with some basics, shall we? First, the middle has a spade. Then it has two clubs on each end of the spade. Then it has a diamond at the bottom of the spade. And a heart at the top of the spade. Well, that gets us nowhere very, very fast. So now we have to look at the arrangement of the cards. As in, which ones are on top of the others. Let's see, in each one, the heart and the diamond are on top of the spade. Yep. And then the clubs. In A, the one at the top is under, one at the bottom is over. B, top is under, bottom is over. C, top is under, bottom is over. D, top is over, bottom is under. So D would be our odd odd man out, so to speak. I think I've got it. I did it. Yes. Catching the subtle difference can take just a little while. You certainly showed that puzzle who was boss, didn't you? Seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. Feel free to thank me in any way you see fit. Poking the eye with a sharp stick could work. Well, be seeing you around. And look at that, a third painting scrap. That works for me. And new puzzle in our puzzle index. Ah. <sighs> Now, we could go straight to the inn, but we can get another puzzle. So let's do this again. I believe some things have restored. Yep, they have restored. There's that. And there's number three, but guess what? The car that we just got dialogue about earlier? Oh yeah, new puzzle. And we get the same dialogue. Luke, our little exchange has reminded me of a wonderful puzzle about cars. Why don't you give it a try? Puzzle 19, Parking Lot Gridlock, worth 30 points. Okay, the Leightonmobile, this one down here, the Professor's Pride and Joy, is stuck behind several other cars trying to exit a crowded parking lot. Things are so tight, though, that each car can only move forward and backward with respect to the direction it's currently facing. Use your stylus to direct traffic and guide the Professor's red car to the exit. 
Now, have you ever seen... I mean, there... Man, there's so many different types of this puzzle around. But I do believe... The fastest way to get through here... We, now, it's gonna make us uh, go to puzzle. And I've seen variants of this puzzle. Most recently, uh, they had a puzzle like this in Overseer. Tex Murphy Overseer, yeah. So, these puzzles have popped up quite a bit. I think I was right. You go to the right. Uh, hmm. I think we have to do this. Yeah, then we do that. Then we can move this one out of the way. I can just no. Yeah, then we have to go ahead and move that back. Yes. I just did that. Then move there. Yeah, I can move that down. Once we move that down, move this to the left, move that up there, then we can move this up and move that out. How does this sound? I did it! Yes! Bingo. Do, do, do. Fourteen moves, exactly what I did. Well, that takes care of the puzzle, but I do wonder when I'll be able to get back to my automobile. Here's a hint, it'll be a while. And we found another strange gizmo. After a while, we'll put more gizmo pieces together and such. We're not in any hurry, though. And new puzzle in the puzzle index. So, now let's head to the inn. We've killed enough time. And now we have more stuff to click on. Oh, wait, is that a puzzle? Shouldn't be. Yes, it is. It's a hidden puzzle. Oh, joy. A hidden puzzle. Number 112, my beloved, worth 50 points. A work from a famous artist was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his later years and is self-entitled, my beloved. Assuming that the artist wasn't a huge narcissist and referring to himself, his beloved should appear in the painting somewhere. Can you find his beloved? Well, we're not counting moves or anything like that, but as you may have guessed, this puzzle, there's actually another person entirely hidden in here somewhere. So, let's take... Yeah, let's see, we got four pieces that I can rotate them. Yeah, we can rotate these pieces around using over here. Let's see. There we go. That doesn't look quite right, does it? I think there we go. I think there we are. Right there. I think I've got it. Professor, I've sold it! Yay! Up to 590. Uh, I love puzzles like that. Use the white or black space. Now let's go find some more puzzles! Of course. Another puzzle in the puzzle box. Now that we've hit the inn... 
I don't want to go to the second floor. There's one coin. Initiate the talking with her yet. Let's see, where haven't I clicked? Oh, there's the second one. Ah, there's number three. With the hint coins collected, it's time to cut the video, and next time we talk with the innkeeper. So, till then, take care, folks. See you around.